Hi, I'm Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's open up book and read today. Books are hip. They're cool. Books will help you in school. If you read with me, here's what we'll do. I find reading fun with you. Hi, I'm Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's read together every day. Sweet Potato Pie, written by Kathleen D. Lindsay, illustrated by Charlotte Riley Webb. I was nearly eight years old when a great drought swept across our country. I had many gardening chores that summer. I hoed the ground, pulled the weeds, and picked those wrinkled vegetables that didn't get all the water they needed. Papa said those were the worst crops he'd ever seen. But finally, the cool weather came, bringing the sweet rain just in time to save our sweet potatoes. Papa was a hard-working man, but even hard work wasn't enough. Late one morning as we sat in the kitchen, Papa pulled a letter from his pocket. It was a note from the bank, and it said that the bank would take away our farm in a month if Papa didn't pay back the money he had borrowed. We owed nearly $75. That was a heap of money. We don't even have 75 cents. How are we supposed to pay back $75? Papa said with a worried look on his face. Papa walked slowly to the back door and looked out across the field. All we have left are the sweet potatoes, he said. We'll have to come up with something or we'll lose our farm. I looked over at Mama, sitting in her chair, sorting scraps of cloth to make a winter quilt. A moment later, she put her quilting aside and went to the cupboard. She took out two freshly baked sweet potato pies, seven cracked and chipped cups, and an old teapot with a broken spout. Come on, children, let's have something sweet, Mama said. Mama always thought something sweet would help us solve our problems. Mmm, -hmm, Papa said, trying not to sound too worried. I'm a lucky man to have a wife who makes the best sweet potato pies in the county and five hungry children who love to eat them up. All of a sudden, Mama threw her hands up in the air. Praise the Lord, she shouted. I got an idea. Sweet potato pie. Lots of sweet potato pies. Tomorrow and the day after is the harvest celebration in town, and people come from miles around. This would be a grand time to sell my sweet potato pies. That's a mighty fine idea, Papa declared as Mama began to hustle and bustle around the kitchen. We all have to work together now, Mama said. Everyone will have a job to do. I'll take the two older boys with me, and we'll fix up the old wagon to carry the pies, Papa said, and he headed toward the door. Mama handed Jake and me buckets to fetch milk from our old cow Lizzie. We ran off to find her while Mama and my big sister Martha got busy peeling a mound of sweet potatoes. Good morning Lizzie, Jake said. I'll be obliged if you was to give us some of your sweet milk for Mama's pies. Jake was just about done milking Lizzie when she let out a big moo and started to kick. To calm her down, I commenced to singing and dancing. <laughs> then all of a sudden, some squealing piglets ran through the barn. <laughs> Watch out, Sadie, Jake yelled just as I lost my balance and hit one of those buckets with a loud bam. Milk splashed all over me, head to toe. After cleaning me up, Mama gave me a large basket and sent me to gather eggs. Who should meet me at the hen house but our bossy rooster, Rastus? He was strutting around, identifying himself as protector of the coop. You better let me in so I can fetch some eggs for Mama's pies, I told Rastus or you might find yourself in Mama's old black cooking pot. Suddenly, Rastus ran toward Jake, who was throwing kernels of corn across the ground to distract him. I slipped into the hen house and gathered all the eggs I could find. 
just as I was coming out, Rastus commenced to chasing me. I ran through the gate as fast as my legs would carry me, trying not to let too many eggs drop to the ground. Next, Jake and me hitched up our half-blind goat nanny and went to fetch a sack of flour at the mill house. On the way back, Jake decided to take a shortcut up a rocky hill. Suddenly, Nanny tripped and overturned the cart, and that sack of flour came tumbling down the hill, aimed straight at me. The sack broke open and covered me with flour. Mama and Martha were cooking and mashing sweet potatoes when I walked into the kitchen. One look at me, and Mama let a, out a big scream. Ah! Then she began to laugh so hard, she cried. Are you mad at us, Mama? I asked sadly. <laughs> now, how can I be upset when I know my babies did their best? Mama said, wiping tears of laughter from her eyes. I think we have just enough ingredients left to make my sweet potato pies. Everyone began working together, taking turns churning some of the milk into creamy butter. Next, we added sugar, eggs, and milk to the warm potatoes. After adding the spices and beating the filling, Mama poured it into her special extra flaky pie crusts. Then into the oven went the pies. When the last pies were done, we fell into bed, anxious for the morning to come. <coughs> cock a doodle do We woke up the next morning to the sound of Rastus crowing. After a big breakfast, we all dressed in our Sunday best. The morning was chilly, so we worked quickly to gather up the heaps of pies wrapped in brown paper and gently carrying them outside to the wagon. Mama made sure the pies were packed in just right so there would be room for us children to ride too. What a sight we saw when we arrived to town. Folks had come from everywhere for the harvest celebration. This celebration is where hardworking people come together and proudly show off what they grew on their farms or made with their hands, Papa said. And some win blue ribbons too. <laughs> he chuckled and looked at Mama out of the corner of his eye. Everywhere we looked, people were selling wonderful things fruits, vegetables, cakes, pies, jams, toys, quilts, and lots of pretty cloth. But nobody, not anybody, had sweet potato pies but us. We unhitched our wagon and started setting out the pies. Just as we put out the last pie in place, the band began to play. Boom, boom, boom. The drums sounded like thunder, clang, clang, clang. The big brass cymbals crashed together. Pies for sale, pies for sale, sweet potato pies for sale. We all tried shouting over the music, but nobody seemed to notice. Pies for sale, my mama's special pies for sale. I shouted even louder, but everyone kept rushing by us. Mama, don't they want our pies? I asked sorrowfully. I don't think they can hear us, Sadie, Mama said. The band is playing so loud, it's drowning us out. Suddenly, I had an idea. I asked Mama to unwrap two pies. I took one and handed Jake the other. Follow me, I said, and Jake and me started dancing through the crowd, carrying the pies above our heads. Pies for sale, pies for sale, sweet potato pies for sale. We shouted as the sweet smell of the pies began to fill the air. Soon we were leading a parade of hungry people back to our wagon, where Mama started giving out samples for folks to taste. Mmm. Ladies commenced to fill their basket with pies as they chatted with Mama about her recipe. Men said Mama's pie was the best they had ever ever tasted. Children came running to try a taste too. Jake collected the money from Mama and I kept bringing more pies from the wagon. 
I made sure to tell everyone it was Mama's special extra flaky crust that made her pies so good. After a while, Mama and Papa took us to the pie judging tent where Papa had secretly entered one of Mama's pies. Everything looked so good. Mama, Mama, we suddenly heard Martha call, come quickly. When we reached Martha, we saw a big blue ribbon on Mama's pie. It had won the prize for the best pie at the harvest celebration. Mercy me, Mama declared as we all started whooping and hollering with joy. Next, we went to the general store to see if Mr. and Mrs. Fields wanted a pie. They bought two and put in an order for 10 pies to be delivered every week. The woman at the sweet shop ordered a dozen and the owner of the restaurant told Mama he wanted as many pies as she had time to bake. By nighttime, Mama had an order list as long as my arm. Papa, said Mama, we have to go home and bake more pies for tomorrow. We sold every last one. <laughs> Papa laughed loudly. Isn't that something, he declared. Well now, you and the children go wait for me in the wagon. I'll be right back. I forgot something at the general store. Moments later, Papa came out with a large brown box and gently placed it in the back of the wagon. He winked and whispered to us to take care of the box because it had something special from Mama inside. We all stayed up late that night helping Mama with the baking. As we sat around the kitchen waiting for the last pies to come out of the oven, Mama set the table with her prettiest tablecloth, Sunday napkins, and the brand new china tea set Papa had given her as a surprise. Then she commenced to cut thick slices of sweet potato pie. Mama, it was mighty clever of you to think of selling pies at the harvest celebration, Papa said as we ate our pie and sipped our tea. Mama smiled. It's this hardworking family who's clever. With everyone's helping hands, there will always be enough pies to sell. And that year we made enough money selling Mama's sweet potato pies to save our family farm. And if you buy this lovely book, it comes with a recipe for Mama's sweet potato pie and Mama's extra flaky pie crust. So you can make this at home with your family. The end. I am bold, I am courageous, I am daring, I am bold. People come in different sizes, different color shapes and names. Although we're different on the outside, inside we are just the same. Press the subscribe button to tune in for the next story time with Miss Hill. Thanks for joining me for today's read aloud. Remember, what makes us all different makes us special. You are so special and so loved. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time.